Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I've been recording a lot lately. I'm adjusting. I don't know if you like that or not, but tough shit if you don't. I'm recording. <laughs> December is a good month to record, so I'm just trying to get as much recording in as I can. Also, as much as I would like to be cutting fabric, I kind of have to walk away from that for a little bit because it gets to the point where I start making some cutting mistakes and I don't like that. So I'm going to, uh, I don't know, I might be done cutting for the day. I'm doing pretty good for my sale. I have a sale. Um, I'll put a link to my blog post uh, telling about the sale. It's going to be my New Year's frenzy. So I'm excited about that. It's not as big as some of the frenzies I've had. It's going to be, you know, smaller, but a little bit bigger than a flash sale. So I'm calling it a frenzy. My 37th. Can't remember when I actually started this run of fabric sales because I used to sell fabric way back in the early 2000s. And, uh, you know, I didn't think I would ever revisit that, but I did. But now it's like major, bigger than when I used to sell back then. Okay, I uh, did that and I am setting up my listings on my blog for the sale and I thought I'd take a little break from that too. And I have an idea. I don't like to make promises with series, but I really think I'm trying to lean on my squeaky table without moving it. <laughs> I really think I would like to start a, a scrappy quilt series and all I would do is you know kind of figure out what size blocks I want how many across and how many down and like what size and I don't know maybe twice a month do a block and then after we have all the blocks made because you could make them as I make them we put them together and everybody would have a scrap quilt and mine would go on on a eBay just the top I don't do the whole quilting part so I think I could commit to that because the blocks would be very basic and I don't know probably too basic it might be silly but if they're too basic maybe I can do a couple in each video and we could knock it out quickly you know I'm going to think about it more but I definitely would like a quilt block series and we can put them together at the end and maybe just maybe I would find a way for us to share that you know now that my son Derek most of you know him he's so good about the whole comments thing and I'm so not it just it it's just not my thing I'm I'm very uncomfortable with that kind of socializing and I know it sounds weird because I do post in Derek's Facebook group and I think it's because it's not my group I don't ever have to go in there and read anything he doesn't tell me anything I know people will ask him to tell me something or stuff like he doesn't he just doesn't talk about it so to me if I'm not active in the group it's like it does not exist and I like that. It gives me a safe place to share some things without having to be the one seeing the comments that come in. And speaking of me sharing, I used to share some photos right before I moved. I was putting photos of family and stuff like that in his group. Then I stopped because of the move. Well, now I'm down to having to go through boxes that haven't been opened, lots and lots of pictures. I posted a picture last night. I really think it's the reason I couldn't sleep. I don't even remember the hairdo that I had in that picture. I was moving some pictures out of a box into another box. <laughs> I just needed to be sorting at that point because there were other things other than pictures. And a picture fell down, face down, on the, on the closet floor. And I flipped it over and I was like, what the fuck is that? So I posted it in his group. You have to go join his group. I'll have the link down below to his group. It's Derek Misho, so you can look it up. You have to, you know, um, be accepted. So go ask to join the group, and either Derek or I will let you in. And then you can see that picture of me 
uh, I was 19. I just don't know. I'll just say poodle. Let's just say poodle. <laughs> Go look at it yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I was embarrassed after I posted it, but come on. Everybody knows it was weird hair, it, you know, back in the day. But the thing is, is I don't know anybody who had hair like that. Like, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I posted it. I can't remember now what made me... Oh, yeah. So the group that I do have right now where there's no comments is just Darling Michaud's group. It used to be the Peanut Gallery from... That was a tribe name from long ago. I don't use that anymore. Uh, but it, it quickly just made me ill to have that, that group. And uh, I just don't want to risk my mental state... <laughs> of a group so maybe I won't open anything up but I would like to do uh, a quilt along couldn't think of that a quilt along where we can all just make these very basic simple blocks and I'm going with scrappy so that nobody has to have a certain amount of fabric it's just gonna be whatever you have it will be all kinds of colors all kinds of prints I think it'll be fun I really do now another thing I do want to open up an email for you guys to share your stories about moving nightmares. And I especially would like to hear from anyone who's done business with International Van Lines or Coach USA or even Ready, Set, Go. Um, I still don't have any kind of plan as to what I can do with this information, but at the very least, I would like to be able to share your stories in videos. I would not name your name. I do want to make sure though that you're not just giving me some bullshit story. So I would want you to tell me the companies and like when the move was. I want to make sure it's a real move. If I ever try to go forward with this, um, you know, I would want to know that I'm not just moving forward with a bunch of bullshit stories. And, um, but I wouldn't mention anything. If I open up the email, I'll talk about it more and I would tell you you know up front I won't name your name first name last name none of that and if you absolutely did not want me to mention the moving company I would not but I would need to know just because I would want to make sure that your story I, I don't know I wouldn't be able to confirm it so I don't know see I have to think about it but I just know how people are, and I could have a lot of people just telling me shit or just copying other reviews. See, this is sounding like a bad idea now because I'm giving the assholes out there ideas of how to email me with other people's stories. So I don't like this idea anymore. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I have been contacted by several. It makes me so sad what people go through with moving. I mean, incredibly sad. It's very hard to lose personal items. I really am lucky that mine turned out as as good as it did. It could have been way worse, but it was bad enough that it was a horrible experience. And for me, it's the experience of not ever being able to trust anyone now, you know? It's like I even worry if I just want to move locally from this apartment to another. You know, I'm going to feel like I have to be so incredibly careful. But at least that's different. You can hire somebody local who has uh, customers and they don't want to lose customers. So it's a little different, you know, than hiring people who are just hiring drivers who are just coming in off the streets and <laughs> renting a U-Haul or whatever and... And I have an update with my Xfinity issue. I called them today, and sure enough, okay, so as a recap, I got cable, never could get it installed, worked eight, eight and a half hours with a couple little breaks during the day uh, on chat and phone, trying to get the cable box to work. Finally, somebody on chat said they would send a tech over. I was on a talking to them on a Friday and they said they would send them over on a Monday the next Monday no charge because I had spent all day trying to get this done 
and I said repeatedly, are you sure? No charge. How can I trust this? You know, how can I have proof? Take uh, snapshots or screenshots of the chat, which I did, and all that. And sure enough, I got charged. I got charged. It was on my bill, an extra hundred bucks for the tech. And I told the tech, as he was, before he entered the door, I told him, there's not supposed to be any charge for this, and do you want to see the screenshots? No, it's okay. All right, I got charged. I called, um, I chatted with somebody yesterday, and she said, oh, she should have never told you that. No, that's not, that's not the way things work. They offered me $40. I said, no, I want my full 100 That person also said, rest assured, you will get your $100 credit. I already processed it. So I said, I should be able to see something if it has already been processed, an email, something. She said, no, you won't get the email until it's cleared. So again, I went back and forth with that person a little bit, and uh, it turns out she never processed anything. I talked to somebody today via chat, no, oh my god, by phone, and it is all recorded, but I don't have to play it because it ended up being good. I actually got through by phone. I couldn't believe it. And she did say, no, whenever a tech comes out, you have to pay that. She says, nobody should have been telling you that you weren't going to have to pay. She said, I do see in the notes that she said that you would get a refund. She says, but she did not process any refund. And she said, because you've been told this twice by two different people, I will refund you. She processed it and I see it in my account. She says, go look at your account immediately. I saw minus $100. So she got the job done. But she said, uh, anytime a tech comes out, you have to pay. And I haven't looked it up, but I know somewhere there it says, you only pay if it's your end. If it's their end, if, if it's Xfinity's end, they are not supposed to charge me. And what happened to me was totally on their end. They sent me a bad box, a very old cable box. He swapped out that cable box and I was up and running. And I mentioned this to her and she said, well, even if they come to swap out a box, you have to pay. And I said, well, that's a cute little trick. You send somebody a box that won't work, so they have to have a tech come out to swap the box and pay $100? See, I don't like that. What they should have done is, when I was having so much trouble, they should have said, oh, we sent you an old box. Or even if it wasn't an old box, they could have said, we're gonna send you another box. I would have done that and I would have been up and running but I don't know see it's things like this that I don't like it's almost like they just sent that out um, the, the tech was so surprised that I had that that he kept saying are you sure you didn't bring this with you and I'm like look the packages uh, the packaging is all here I just got this on Friday it was Monday this is the box they sent me I've never had Xfinity Comcast anything like that I'm from Maine yeah very interesting but I have a $100 credit on my account so I got that one I didn't settle for 40 bucks and I didn't let those people just tell me stuff and drop the ball and say, oh, well, forget it. I don't forget shit like that. Not a hundred bucks. I don't forget it. I don't care if it was ten bucks. To me, it's the principle of the thing. If they're going to say you're getting this refund, I want to see it happen. So I guess that's about it. I just wanted to really tell you guys about the, the quilt along. I think I'm going to be excited about that. Uh, and I wouldn't want people sharing that in Derek's group. That's Derek's group. You know what I mean? He doesn't need everybody talking about a quilt along. I don't think he'd mind, but I don't want to hijack his group. So don't do that. I mean, if you're going to be in his group, talk to him. <laughs> talk with each other. He said he has such a good community, and I, and I believe that. He doesn't get people being idiots to each other or it's you know just saying stupid stuff people genuinely feel like being there and a lot of people ha are happy to have a safe place to talk about stuff again I don't know I don't go in there to read other comments so I don't know if there are people who argue or start things or whatever or bully each other I don't know but he he doesn't tell me that anybody does that so I'm just going to believe that it's a very nice group and you can go join it. That much I know you can do. 
But we'll talk about the quilt along a little bit more. I'm going to be anxious tonight to try to design just the basic thing on my iPad. I'm going to try to work with uh, sizes that I cut, uh, but I'm certainly not going to stick to that. I want it to be a really cool, scrappy quilt. I think that will be fun. And I also want to think about the email um, for the stories, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, like I said, I don't want people just using an email. It would be a temporary one. I would just shut it down after a while. But, you know, I don't want to be involved in uh, just opening up the doors for people who just want to be assholes. I can pretty much tell if somebody's telling the truth or not. And, you know, I just, maybe, maybe if there's enough interest in people telling their stories, maybe we can do something above and beyond the, um, the review sites because stuff gets buried there and it's something I'm very passionate about suddenly because it was a very awful experience and I feel crushed for people who have uh, less than I have. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't have much, I don't have much stuff of value but I can afford to replace the things that were broken. It just breaks my heart that things were broken. Um, what I'm saying is it's, it's, this is not a financial you know, nightmare for me. It was just a nightmare for the whole experience and how it's done. And I truly feel horrible for other people who get sucked into this shit. I really, really do. Okay, it, it, it just really bothers me, I think you can tell. Uh, I wish I could change it somehow. I don't think I can. Not alone, that's for sure. But... We'll, we'll think about it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.